Hey y'all, I'm making a sweet treat today in the rock crock. I get a lot of questions about the rock crock pan because it's so wonderful and I use it all the time, I guess. But what I have done so far, I'm making a caramel peanut butter brownie and I'm gonna cook it in the microwave in just six to eight minutes. This is the first time I've tried this recipe. So I'm gonna do it for six minutes and check it. But all I've done so far is taken 10 bite size or fun size Snickers bars and you're supposed to just lay them on the bottom of your rock crock. Well, I went a step a little above that and I cut them in threes, in thirds. So I've got one left I'll show you. I just took the fun size bar and just cut it in three different little chunks. So now I'm just going to lay those all over the bottom of the pan. The next thing you do is mix a brownie mix per package instructions. I bought the fudgy brownie mix because that's what I like. So I am used the kids baking pan. Y'all, I bought the baking bowl. I bought the kids set just so I could have another one of these bowls. I love it. It's a 13 and a half cup capacity. It's got a um, silicone ring on the bottom so it keeps it still on the counter. It's got a wide handle and a wide spout, but it's so lightweight. So I have used this to mix the brownie mix and now we just pour the mixture over our candy bars. Everything about this sounds good, doesn't it? I love chocolate and I love Snickers and I love peanut butter, which is gonna be our next step. Mm, there's a little bit of dry powder in the bottom. Let me stir that up a little bit. I'm using our mix and scrape. I didn't get out my hand mixer to do this. You don't need to. You can use this mix and scrape or either our stainless steel whisk and mix up anything that your hand mixer would mix up. I'm trying to get every last bit of it and it's a fudgy brownie y'all, so it's nice and thick. I'm just kind of stirring it along the top of these candy bars. Cannot wait to try this. Another thing I like about our mix and scrapers is that it will get every last drop out of a bowl. Y'all see that? It will scrape the side. So if you like licking your bowls, don't use this tool because it's not going to leave you much batter. Sometimes I leave some just so I can lick the bowl. Get as much out as I can. I should have used the cake like brownies and it wouldn't have been as thick and took me as long to get it out. Okay. It smells good and it looks good. So that was step two and very, very easy. The last step is to melt some peanut butter. Y'all, you have probably seen me, if you haven't, you haven't, you just missed it because I use our scoop and spread all the time. My favorite thing is for cleaning out jars. Now look at that peanut butter. It was almost empty and I had to get my other jar and open it. But I'm telling you, this will not, this tool will not leave anything in a jar. So it's called a scoop and spread because this end scoops and the other end is flat so you can spread and it actually has a little serrated part here that you could cut your sandwiches or whatever in half. So, sorry, I got off track, but I used our one cup silicone prep bowl. I love these because they're lightweight too. They have measure marks in them. You can use them in the oven or the microwave. So now I'm just going to drizzle this peanut butter over the top of my brownie mixture. That's all we have to do. And then I'm gonna put it in the microwave. I'm doing a lot of peanut. It looks like it's only a half a cup, but it looks like a lot of peanut butter when it's melted. Mm. I love peanut butter too, y'all. That's one of my weaknesses. Okay, so now I will put the lid on this, put it in the microwave for six minutes. You see that? 
I'll pause this video and I'll come back and show you when it's done. Stay tuned. Ha ha, I wish y'all could smell my kitchen. It is done. I did it for six minutes and I checked it and I really kind of think it was done, but I just did it one more minute just to be safe. So I've just taken it out of the microwave. Y'all look at that brownie. Again, this is a caramel peanut butter brownie. Oh, and the rock crop. I love using this rock crop because it's the only pan I've ever owned that I can use in any cooking method. In the oven, on top of the stove, in the microwave, under the broiler, on the outdoor grill, and you can even purchase a slow cooker stand that comes separate and put it in that and use it as a slow cooker. So this little rock crock is a gem in your kitchen. It replaces just about every pan that you could possibly need. So I'm gonna take some out. I got our big wood um, spatula, silicone and wood spatula. I love these, but I thought, and it's just me here, so I better use my small nylon spatula and get just a little bit out so I can um, not eat the whole bowl. This is our cake tester and releaser. It's got a very long end that you can test your cakes and a releasing tool, which you don't really need with Pampers Chef's products because nothing sticks. But if I were going to invert it, I could go around the side of the pan and just kind of release your cakes or baked goods from the side. So let's dig some of this out because I am dying to taste it and see what this baby tastes like. I've already told my children that I was making this, so I cannot uh, wait for them to come get some too. Mm, it's done all the way through. I'm trying to smash it a little bit so y'all can y'all see that caramel that's melted on the bottom. That's that Snickers bar, so I can see the Snickers and the peanuts and the caramel melting in that very nicely. Cannot wait to taste it. And of course it's got, you can see that caramel has gone all the way through there. Mm, it looks so good, y'all. And I'll be sure to let you know how it tastes, but I can't imagine it not being good. Some vanilla ice cream, I might get some of that and put on here. Get on the couch and watch the Hallmark Channel. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will share this recipe with you. Um, if you don't have a rock crop, message me and let's get one in your kitchen. You can host a party and get one at a great discount or we can just order you one. So thank you guys so much. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.